Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and today we have the Wall Burgers Angus Beef Burgers. I chose the bacon and cheddar. I've cooked the um, lollipops of the Wall Burgers. I'll try to leave that video in the description box for you guys. Uh, but today I did grab these uh, burgers from Publix. So, and I'm sure you guys probably saw my Publix haul already. So we've got six in a box. And I'm going to cook some McCain crinkle cut fries. So let me get these burgers open. I've already got my oven preheated. Let me see what they say on the back. Oh, la, 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 la. All right. Looks like it says, trying to see what they're saying about the directions. I mean, I've already got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm not sure what they're going to. Uh, looks like they're saying place, place frozen burgers, preheat. Uh, they're saying a skillet or over medium heat. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Flip burgers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, anyway, I'm putting these in the oven. Uh, they're just suggesting that you can cook it um, on a skillet, but I'm putting them all in the oven so they can hurry and get done. So, let's get into it. Something quick and easy. Uh, let's go ahead and get our burgers uh, panned up. I'll be back to show you guys that. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've got my burgers on my goblin pan here. I did put a little oil down before I put my burgers down. <coughs> okay, all right. Sorry about that. Anyway, I've got my burgers down. I put a little oil down with my burgers. <coughs> my seasonings I have, I'm going to be using the Morton season. I'm just going to put that on both sides of my burger. Flip these over once I get the season on here. Just a little light season, nothing heavy. Because I'm going to be using more than one season. So, And I'm going to be using Sambadia Pink Himalayan Salt. Just showing y'all what I'm using. Use whatever you want to season your meat with. That's on you. It's your food. You paid for it. So... Season it how you want to season it up. And I have my favorite, the Trader Joe's Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. Y'all know I love this. We're going to sprinkle some of that on this. And I'm going to put this on both sides and then I'll just flip it over. Quick, quick and easy. This is a quick and easy meal. I've also got this pan right here with a little oil on it. Cooking oil on it. Um, let's see. Alright, and I'm going to be using the McCormick Garlic Powder. Sprinkle that on the burgers. Alright, and the last thing, I'm going to be using the McCormick minced onions. You gotta have onions on your burger. Easy. I'm going to flip these over and do the same thing to the other side. over now I've never cooked these before so this is gonna be our first time together hopefully they are good it's got it's got the bacon and it's got the cheddar cheese in it so I'm hoping it's really good all right we're gonna put our burgers and fries in the oven at the same time everybody's going in the oven to cook at the same time now frozen fries usually take a little longer in the oven and my oven frozen fries take about I don't know like 30 minutes I'll cook them and then I'll just kind of flip them around and then cook them for another 30 minutes to get them all extra brown how I like them and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do the fries I didn't want to do the whole frying, you know, trying to cut back on the frying and everything, you know. So your fries can taste just as taste just as good. You put them in the oven. They taste just as good. I'll show y'all my little trick 
of how you can get your oven fries to taste just like they do if you fry them in oil. So I've got a little cooking oil, put it down in my pan as you can see, that's why it's so shiny. And I just spread it around. Take your frozen fries, dump them all on there. Move this bag out of the way, spread them out. Make sure you got them spread it out all nice and even. You don't want them on top of each other too much. So I like to make sure they get nice and flat as I can get them. And that oil's down there, you know, to help your fries cook. Now, I'm going to take the, y'all know I love my Pam. Spray the top of them. Now, this oil is just to help your fries brown and cook. And you know what, this way, you're not frying them in grease, you know, so they're less fattening this way. All right, I'll show you guys my little trick so you can get your own homemade seasoned fries. Um, I take the Morton season all, or you can do salt and pepper. I do salt and pepper too. And I just take this while my oil is on there. And let me get this open. I just sprinkle that across the fries. That way you've got your own homemade seasoned fries, quick and easy. Put a nice coating across the top. You guys see that? And then I'll let them bake for 30 minutes and then I'll just kind of mix them up. And that salt, that seasoned salt will get it, get on all the fries. So you'll have some nice homemade seasoned fries. So our burgers and fries, we're going to throw them in the oven. Uh, the fries are going to go on the bottom rack. And the burgers are going to go on the top rack. So that way our fries get cooked across the bottom. I flip them around, then they'll cook on the other side. And the burgers, we need those on top because we need the heat rising to the top of those burgers. So that's it y'all quick and easy so easy meal for the family i will be back to show y'all the grand finale um uh, i'll let you guys know if i remember because sometimes i do be forgetting the fries i'm going to cook for 30 minutes toss them around let them cook another 30 minutes uh our burgers i think those should take about 30 minutes so all right if i can remember i'll let y'all know how long it took all right i'll be back with the grand finale Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to share with you guys the buns that I will be using. And I got these from the Publix Bakery. These are the French hamburger buns, eight count, made from scratch daily. Oh my goodness, they had them on sale for $3.69. They're usually like around seven or eight bucks. But I don't think so. But I cut them on sale for $3.69. Perfect time for the burgers. Um, so let's get these open. I've got my uh, tray over here. When my burgers and fries get done, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven. You know, this is something nice, quick, and easy. You can just throw everything in the oven. I'll keep my oven at that 400 degrees temperature, you know. So once the fries and the burgers come out, I'll just throw my bread in. And these are like perfect for hamburgers. They're nice and soft. Let me get them out and show you guys. Delicious. And they're really big, you know, to fit the burgers. Fresh, made fresh at Publix daily. And I got some lettuce in there. So, see? Nice and fresh. Just tear them apart like that. Nice, fresh hamburger buns. Give you guys a close up look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at the top. Ugh. And I'm just gonna slice them across. Go ahead and get them sliced up. I forgot to show you guys this. Well, I didn't forget. I was gonna show you guys, so. And I've got my bread cutting knife. I'm just gonna slice it. Not gonna cut it all the way through. Oh, I could, duh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all the way through. Easy peasy, just like that. Easy peasy. Wait, I'm out of. I thought you guys could see. Easy peasy, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and lay them on my rack, just like that. See how I got it laid over there? Just like that. And I'm going to throw them in the oven so they can get nice and warm with that burger with the bacon in it. <gasps> with some steak sauce, some lettuce. Oh my goodness. Ketchup on my fries. I cannot wait. They're going to be so good. Now, like I told you guys, the wall burgers never had them before, so I'm not really sure how they're going to taste. So, of course, I will leave it in the description box how they taste. I'll try to remember that. But, I mean, the wall burgers, they usually have some pretty good, decent products. So, that's why they're so pricey. 
but I got those burgers on sale from Publix. They're originally $15.99 a box, $16 a box. Uh, six in a box a little pricey for some burgers i can get i can get an eight count for 10 11 bucks so you know it's a wall burgers you know they're a famous family got their restaurants you know so you know how that goes but i did want to try them so hopefully they are good so i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting these all sliced up and get them laid across the rack and yeah so those fries and burgers are cooking up in there and i'll be back guys with the grand finale Okay guys, I've got the fries and burgers out of the oven. Let me take you guys in so you can see how they look with the cheese, cheddar cheese, and the bacon. Can't really see the bacon, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't really shrink that much. They only shrinked a little bit. That's a good thing. Uh, they smell nice. Of course, I seasoned them, but they did smell good before I seasoned them. Our fries, nice and toasted brown over there with the fries. Let's get back to the star of the show, which is the Wahlburger Burgers. Uh, yeah, um, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna throw them back in the oven. I'm gonna put the oven on broil and let it kind of, you know, brown them a little bit more, brown my fries a little bit more. But I just wanted to come and show you guys what they look like, take y'all in real good. They, they smell good, they look good, y'all. So, uh, I think they'll be all right. All right, guys, nice, quick, easy meal tray everything up, pan everything up, and throw it in the oven so your fries and your burgers are cooking at the same time. All right, so it was 30 minutes for the burgers, and the fries were 45 minutes. So nice, quick, easy meal. I've got my bread over here. You guys saw me cutting that up. So I'll just go ahead and throw my bread in the oven for about five minutes so it can get nice and warm and buttery. That's it, y'all. Make your burgers how you want to. Fix your food how you want to fix it. It's your food. All right, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Thanks, guys. Bye.